With the CircuitPython Parsec, I wanted to show you how you can use pretty much any GPIO pin on your microcontroller as a ground pin. Why would you want to do this? Well, sometimes you want to plug things in, like you can see here I've got a couple of LEDs with resistors plugged in, and they're on either side of a little cutie pie board. Uh, there's only one pin marked as ground on this. Point at it right there. That's the ground pin. Well, you can't share that too easily with a couple of these leads. If you're going into a breadboard, great, but sometimes you just have header pins on your board and you want to plug things into them. What you can do in this case, if you don't want to kind of crowd things in, is pick another available GPIO pin and set it at a low value, which essentially acts as a ground. Now, this isn't uh, as high a current ground as the ground ground pin, so you only want to use this for things like LEDs and buttons and switches, nothing higher current. But it works really easily and really well, so watch this. You can see here in my code, I'm setting up uh, by importing the library for board and digital I.O. Then for this red LED, I'm simply setting the pin that the uh, high side is plugged into, which in this case I'm plugging into the RX pin. So I set that to be a digital in-out pin with the direction set to output, and I set the value to true. It lights it up because it's setting that pin high. So we're getting three volts out of that roughly. On this other side, what I'm going to do is same sort of thing. I'll set up one of the pins, in this case the TX pin, for the high side of the LED, the positive side. But then to fake a ground, what I'm doing here is I've created a variable called fake ground pin. And here I'm setting up a digital pin. It's a GPIO pin A1 in this case. Uh, and I'm setting its direction to output, but then I'm keeping its value low. I'm setting the value to false. This essentially acts as a ground pin. So if I hit save now, what you can see is our green LED lights up as well, even though I didn't have to clutter things up by using a single ground pin. And so that is how you can fake a ground pin on your microcontroller inside of CircuitPython. And this has been your CircuitPython Parsec.